mission of Divine Chocolate is to improve the livelihoods of cocoa farmers in West Africa by establishing a branded chocolate company that they can call their own in the very valuable UK market. But what's unique about Divine Chocolate is that the cocoa farmers in Ghana who grow the cocoa to make Divine Divine uh, own 45% of the company. Back when cocoa liberalised in Ghana in 1993 and the cocoa farmers set up a cooperative, they in their AGM in 1997 voted to set up a chocolate company and so in 1998 Divine Chocolate was born. What ethical business means for me, running Divine Chocolate, this is a business that is owned by the farmers and where the benefits go to the farmers and where the attraction of the brand is not only the great chocolate but is that story, is that the farmers get a say in how the company is run and get a fair share of, of the profits. And so to me what ethical means is that it's a different way of doing business, it's giving consumers in the UK a real choice and it's offering people who don't have any power a say in how their industry is run. I think the Weavers are important because they're a way that ethical businesses can increase their profile and one of our aims is to be a catalyst for change. We want the industry to change by seeing that there is a better way of doing business and that you can be successful and the Weavers are one of the ways that we can achieve that. The Weaver nomination is acknowledgement of the contribution of all the wonderful women who have made Divine the brand it is today. The future for Divine Chocolate is looking very exciting. There's obviously loads of more products that we can develop, so we spend our time developing lovely ranges of chocolate. And there's many more farmers to work with who can get the benefits of fair trade, so I think the future is exciting.